Sometimes you find the perfect article, the article that you wish you could put your name on and turn in. Instead of doing that, here are a couple of techniques you can use to find where they got their information and who else has done research on the same topic. So say this is your perfect article. Two-level Newton iterative method for the 2D, 3D study Navier-Stokes equations. The first thing you can do is you can look at the references, see where they got their information. Some resources, this resource is Wiley Online Library, allow us to look at the references from the article information page. Wiley Online Library also allows us to see the cited by. This is the other option. These are people that have used this article in their own research. By going through the resource Wiley, you can click and you can see the information on a particular article if it's also available in Wiley, such as the first article, the um, several iterative schemes for the stationary natural convection equations at differential Rayleigh numbers. If you were to click on full article HTML or PDF, it would take you to that full article. If you were to click on references, you would also be able to see the other references that this article used. If you see something such as the fourth article in Computer Methods in Applied Mechanics and Engineering, and there is not that link, you can then take this title and you can look it up to see if we have it available elsewhere. Another way to see who has cited an article is to do a Google Scholar search for that article. So if you go to scholar.google.com and type in the article name, you will find the information on the article. Underneath that information, you will see a link that says cited by, in this case cited by 15. If you click on that link, it will show you the 15 articles that Google has that cited this article, or our original article, Two-Level Newton Iterative Method. On this page, the list, you can see who has cited the articles that have cited this article. If you see a PDF on the right-hand side of the screen, you can click on that, and it usually links to a version of the full article. Or, if you look at the fourth article in the list, say you wanted that article, you could take that and you could look up on the library quick search to see if we find it. So all I've done here is I have cut and paste the article title into the library quick search on oit.edu slash libraries. Hit go and it's the first one that comes up. If I click on view it, it opens up and I can click on the full text available at link and go directly to the full text for the article. If I don't see the full text available at link, I can go to request an ILL article, follow the prompts, and request the article to be sent to my email in a few days. If that isn't an option, and if it doesn't come up in the library quick search, I can do a manual ILL request. If you go under find and click on an article, you can go to borrow from another library. After you click there, go ahead and follow the prompts, make your request, and in a few days you should have the article to your Oregon Tech email. If you have any questions, please contact us. We're happy to help you search.